I knew I wanted to do improv when I was a kid. The first time I saw Wayne Brady improvise a song on Who's Line, my initial thought at like 11 years old was I could totally do that, which in hindsight I think was really overconfident of an 11 year old, but it ended up working out. Hi, I'm Jay Trotta, I'm a planning director. This stuff is really strong. <laughs> and I'm also a musical line professor. So musical improv is the same as regular improv in that you get a prompt from the audience and that'll go to a scene. The difference is that the scene always goes to a song. And that song is something you're making up on the spot. It's not something that you write. It's really something you feel and discover along the way. Have you heard of Stephanie Johnston, the princess of Barrington? You don't get to song right away. It's something you have to earn. The scene has to hit like a sufficiently emotional point that it can justify being sung about. The really interesting thing about it is I, as the performer, actually have absolutely no control over when I've earned the song. My music director on the piano will just start playing. And then it's my job to pick up what the beat is, understand the tempo that they're going for, and form lyrics and words and dance moves and all that. I'm never not thinking I don't know what to do, but that, that's where the fun is. It's not like a terrifying end state. That's where the fun and the creativity really comes in and where your best work can come from if you listen and let other people bring it out of you. And there's a lot of that in advertising too, if, if we're being honest. What I love about advertising is you've got a lot of people who are genuinely good at a lot of different things. And what I love about being a planner is I get to bring the best out of the people around me. I would connect that idea of, you know, appreciating a diversity of talent and trying to bring the best out of others to improvising. Improvising and writing a great song is really similar to improvising and writing a great creative brief. I don't improvise my creative brief, I should clarify. But, um, so if I'm super stuck on a brief, I will not ironically start singing and try and roll with that, see what emotions are going on, see what I'm noticing, what I'm finding interesting. Uh, that's one big thing I've learned is it's not just understanding, you know, how my client feels about a project. It, it's how I feel about the creative that I want to produce. I give it all.